Humanity, I love you all with all my heart, with all my might. This is so rare. My videos are about love, infinity, creation, energy, because we're infinite love, infinite energy, infinite creation. This is who we are, we're the human race. So this video is about linear A. So linear A is this ancient language, right? It was the language used by an ancient civilization called the Minoan civilization. These are this is ancient Greece. The Minoans are ancient Greek. Okay, so they have this language called Linear A. So Linear A, I mean, according to mainstream narratives, Linear A hasn't been deciphered, meaning it contains all of its secrets in it still. But this is not true. Linear A has already been deciphered, okay, a long time ago, in fact. So linear A is a very, it's essentially an astronomical chart, if you understand these. So, and an astro, it was the astronomical chart or the Minoan civilization. And the Minoan civilization, they are the um, ancestors from the time where Earth was in a different location, as I refer to what is known as Antarctica today, I'll, I'll show you. So what is known as Antarctica, which is not the real name. So the Minoan civilization, the, the, the humans who inhabited that island in Crete, in ancient Greece, they all survivors of the fallout of the ice age okay so they are all survivors of the fallout of the ice age where are we here so when the moon showed up when the moon showed up right when the moon showed up when the moon showed up because remember the moon is an invading force it's not a real natural satellite it's a problem and we're getting rid of it so, okay, so the Minoans originally come from here. They're part of our civilization. But because of everything that happened and the moon showing up and tidal locking and disabling our defense grid in Giza, they were able to tidal lock and move it to the angle where they forced our central civilization to the south rather than where it was, which is the epicenter, because this is the real face of planet Earth. This is how we actually look like, how we created the planet. Okay, so Minoans, right? And the Minoans, they come from what is known as Antarctica, but it's not really. And then the Minoans named it Atlantis. The Minoans named it Atlantis, because why Atlantis? Because if you understand these, so Atlantis or Antarctica used to be the equator of the planet when we manufactured it before the moon showed up. So it was right here. It was the equator. And because this moved freely, it doesn't really have like an east-west orientation in relation to the sun. It's anything. We can just move it naturally, any movement. But it tended to stay on that orbit and move around anyway on this and on this specific alignment. Why? Because the South, the Pacific is just a big, as you can see, it's a circle of water. It has nothing in it. It's at the bottom. So all the clouds go to the bottom, so there is no clouds on the top, so we can stare at the sun, sun does encompasses. So if you understand these, right, if you understand these, then, then you immediately realize that, you know, Atlantis is where? Well, it's the equator, right? And then Look at where it is. So if it's in the West, right? The West as the perspective of what we call it today, right? Right? What does that mean? That when it's moved to the South because of the events that did, 
what does it become the west well the west becomes america the americas and what's the ocean there is atlantic you see because the name of atlantis and atlantic is essentially code word to refer to the lost continent that used to be where where it's not anymore because it's moved to the south because of the tidal locking and then the west becomes the americas and that ocean there is atlantic ocean yet because that's where atlantis used to be so that's all cold war right so it wasn't the minoans that gave the name of atlantis per se it was the civilizations that came after the minoans that essentially invaded and destroyed the minoan civilization because of who they were and they essentially re they wrote, rewrite history, rewrote history, and they used all the information of linear A, which was the information encoding everything, to themselves take advantage of that because they knew who the Minoans were. So then, so what is the meaning of this? Well, everything that came after, all the names Atlantis, which was a Greek terminology used, at, right? It was used by who? Well, by those who came after the Minoans everything that became after modern Greek as a result of linear B because linear B comes from linear A so you see so but linear A hasn't so so called been undeciphered but this is all not true so this is being deciphered and I'm going to tell you exactly what it is but I'm not giving you context so that's why the idea of Atlantis comes from this because of linear A and because of who the Minoans were because the Minoans came originally from what is known as Antarctica today which is nothing else but Atlantis. Because it used to be, but Atlantis is not the real name, it's the name that they have given them. The ones who uh, understand, deciphered linear A, and they are creating narratives around everything that they do. So, okay, so you see, right here, right here, it used to be here. It was our equator, our epicenter of our civilization before the moon. Okay, so let's talk about linear A. So let's talk a little bit about linear A, okay? So what's linear A? Well, linear A is the language of the Minoans. And the Minoans used to be in what is known as Antarctica today or Atlantis before the moon showed up, before the ice age, before the warfare. And, and, and because they were part of our central civilization, in fact, so where were they located? So if you understand that Antarctica used to be here, then that's their location, natural location, right? But remember, when after the fallout, we when the moon when the moon moved Antarctica or Atlantis to the bottom, then what became the new west where Antarctica used to be in relation to that new location, what is known as the Atlantic now, ocean and all that, the west, right? The Americas. Well, it's the Americas, right? So you got Antarctica here, but you move it to the bottom, and what becomes the west? Well, the west becomes this, all of us. Americans, us, so all of it, the Americas, right? So that's who we are. So, so then, so what is the meaning of this? Well, the meaning of this is that, if you understand these, where were they? So you see, they, want, they were asked, we were here, but then we had remnants of civilizations that we wanted to be there. So we wanted to have remnants of our civilization living here living uh where are we from here from antarctica we wanted remnants of our civilizations to be here in europe in europe why because remember that location used to is the top of our planet is the top of our planet which means that's where the pyramid of giza is because africa is at the top so we can have the electromagnetic defense grid on against invaders from the moon right so we needed to have a civilization guarding the pyramids because we knew that they were going there to take on guard that because they already were guarding antarctica because in antarctica what is known as atlantis we have all the technology to move the planet around it's like command and control so it's uh, mission control. We have everything that moves the planet. Everything is there. All our technology is there. So we can move the planet because the planet is a spaceship. Okay. 
So, but our spaceship has a defense grid, and our defense grid is the Pyramid of Giza, because when we created the planet, we wanted to have Africa at the top, because, because we created all the continents, because of the Pyramid of Giza, because it beams, because it's getting all these at the top, so it's always day, so it gets all the energy from the sun, and we use it, we harness that, and then we create an, a defense grid. And our defense grid is beam from the that from those three pyramids. They all work together as a coil of sorts. Because of the py py pyramid because the base is a square and then you have all the faces of the square. Right? Because it's not a tetrahedron per se, it's a pyramid. So it's not fully equilateral. It's not a platonic solid. It's it's a pyramid. And because of that it has specific properties of pi. Because you can have the root of pi. And by having the root of pi, you have access to prime infinity energy. So then that energy is beamed from the apex, the very top. The very top of it is beam, beams that energy that is essentially, it has a mechanism within the pyramid at the very core of it that is the root of pi because of the square. The root square of pi applied to a point. And that point with the energy of the sun and having a singularity device in the epicenter powers this energy and it creates a grid. Okay, it's a grid of infinite energy covering the sun, the, it's covering the planet as a defense grid, as a defense mechanism. So we wanted the minoans to move to Crete because Crete was one of those islands right next to, the, to Egypt. So we could monitor, monitor uh, Giza because we knew that they were in the east and they were moving eastward so westward in relation to us from the east to the west using the sunlight they had all sorts of civilizations created moon worshippers moving slavery systems that they created so but we not, we needed to have reconnaissance near the pyramids as a result of what we knew they were doing okay so that's how it works. So then linear A is this language. Why? Because it's just the way it is. So linear A is this language. And, and what's linear A? So the, the way they deciphered linear A was to understanding that what linear A, so it's based on this idea of uh, Phaistos. Um, so it's the Phaistos disk. So the Phaistos disk is essentially, is the sun's disk. It's a representation of the sun. Okay, it's a representation of the sun, and it has a spiral within it. And that spiral, really, what it is, is a transition of Venus. That's all it is. It's a transition of Venus in the sky. In relation to what? Right? In relation to what? Well, to the sun. Because you need to understand, what you really need to understand is that because of... Linear A and the deciphering and not wanting to tell it that it's been deciphered because they were going straight to the Minoan civilization. That's where they were headed because they knew that we were guarding Giza from Minoan uh, civilization, from Crete. They knew that. So they wanted to get there because they needed to essentially clear the area so they can control Giza. So essentially what ended up happening was that as part of it, so when the moon shows up, the moon didn't show up alone. So the moon was just to take down our grid and then try to lock it to an angle, which is in alignment with the winter solstices that they create as a result of moving Atlantis to the bottom and call it Antarctic and having ice caps on it and weather and all sorts of things in the planet because the planet didn't have any of these conditions. But by doing that, they aligned it with the planets where they come from. Alignment, right? And they, they come from a star seed. They come from many places because there is a few of them. But in essence, Maya is a star system that is seen in the winter solstice in both hemispheres. And it's in alignment with the way they move that. Why? Because they needed to have ice caps and winters because we don't have winter in our planet because we don't have ice caps when the moon is removed. So it's all in alignment with that. But there's not only alone because they have a home planet called Gaia near the Maya area. And they have all sorts of systems. So Deborah and B is part of that and also um, Antares. 
and tariffs and all that, that's where kind of like the coding that they use because by moving it in that angle and creating winter solstice and equinoxes and all these different things, now they can create all sorts of myth mythology around the skies. Because remember, that's not how the sky looks because he's being locked. We're locked as a planet, spaceship planet, into an angle and creating narratives that our planet is not a spaceship, that is just a form, an, a, a, a rocky planet and all these things because of all this, because of who they are, invaders. They're not human. They're not us. So uh, they're clones. So you understand this. Everything that they are, they're clones, genetically modified human cells, driven by artificial intelligence. So that's who they are. So essentially, they're clones. They're not humans like you and I. They don't have a consciousness and a self-awareness. They don't love. They don't have the ability to do any of these things. They're computers. Programs, ones and zeros in their brains. So they command and control the slaves. So that's all they are. So if you understand these, then by doing that illusion, then you can create a celestial sky. Because the moon wasn't alone. Remember, our planet is not a real planet. This is a spaceship planet at the epicenter of the central sun of everything that exists. Because we're this race. All these so-called planets around us and the sun, they're all artificial. Because if we created these, then they create similar things to it. So all these planets around us, they're not real planets. They're moons that they created and they're orbiting the sun, just like we are, but at different levels. Why? Because it needed to create an alignment for them with primitive technology move eastward, east to west, westward which means that they would use the alignments of the sky as a result of the movements, because that's how, remember, they were primitive. That's a narrative, because they're creating a new planet. They're creating everything, all right? They're rewriting history, because they're here to stop who we are as a civilization. That's why they did what they've done. But we knew what they were doing. So the Minoans essentially understood all the celestial objects that they brought around to chart everything so they can move around. Because essentially, they did all that, so eventually they would go and circle back and get back to Antarctica, to Atlantis, which is the civilization, the epicenter, where all our technologies that is being hidden on the ice and everything is being reversed engineered by these clones, right? by these moon worshippers, slavers. So if you understand these, if you understand these, then you immediately start to realize that, well, that makes sense. So you have to circle around and you do that using astronomy and the readings of the sky. So, so we knew that. So the Minoans essentially encoded everything as they were seeing it. So we understood the mathematics of what they were doing so we can inform the world of what was happening. So essentially what that meant is that, so fastest, um, disk is nothing else but a sun disk of what? The transition of Venus. Venus moving over because Venus is artificial, just like the moon. So it moves over the sun in a specific transition based on the orbits that they have set up because of the relays. Because the moon has a relay with all the objects that are all tied aloft to the central sun in an orbit mimicking us because the objective is us, our species, who we are, the central species on everything, because they're not from here. But by controlling Earth and taking down the defense grid, unlocking us into this angle and all the cataclysmic events that happened, the Ice Age and everything, and moving our civilization to the bottom, then they were able to have all these proxies around to create this illusion. So we ourselves will believe this nonsense that we are just a random species and we're nobodies, right? And this is all lies. This is all fabrications because of the narratives and because of the events that took place that led to warfare and it led to our DNA going dormant as a result of everything that they've done coming here with an invading force, the moon, and all the support systems, all these planets, Saturn and Jupiter, and all the relays with Aldebaran B and all the constellations all over because they are holding our civilization hostage in Ramson, and, and because they have Antarctica at the bottom, held up. That's what they're doing. So, so linear A, so what's linear A? So if you understand linear A, the way they, when they deciphered it, they knew, they knew in the moment that they understood what that was, 
they knew that we were obviously understanding the mapping of the routes when they were going to go and circle back down here. And creating the illusion of Antarctica being this ice stuff that is new and is the last continent to be found and all these narratives. Because they needed it to create all the systems before so when they get to a real civilization then people follow narratives and they just put in reality that's not our civilization. It's, the lost continent of Atlantis is not lost at all. It's Antarctica and it was moved there by the moon. So the right location is the epicenter as we put it when we created this planet. And our technologies, our blueprints, our archives, our libraries, everything that we need is down there because it's encoded in our DNA so we can touch it and we can use it and interface with it. Because remember, they're not human, they're clones. So they don't have human DNA to touch our technology because they cannot do it. They're not human. So what they're doing is they reverse engineering as much as they can. And then all the information and all the cargo is being left. It leaves the planet through Antarctica to the moon and then all the relays of all the systems outside with all these celestial alignments. So the Minoans understood this. So what they did, they created the uh, fastest disk because it contained that alignment that they were timing because they were counting on them to use that because the transit of Venus was used to them as a guide, as a milestone. So they need to achieve, because remember they have timelines, why? Because they're slavers and the moon is a system, base 60, base 10, meaning it's a system of time that is artificial. And I have explained what this is many times in the past, I've referred to those videos. So essentially they need time. And why? Because they're timing the celestial objects in alignment with the moon. So they can know exactly when those objects are going to transition because they're all in alignment. It's like a clockwork of all these things moving in an alignment and they're chasing the alignment because it's chasing the timeline because they have telemetry. And the telemetry was my birth. They were timing my birth. And they, because I'm from Atlantis, what is known as Atlantis, it's not the real name, it's the name they give it, right? Antarctica, that's where I'm from, okay? and. I was alive when they showed up with the moon, but it was decided that I was going to be born again at the right time. Why? Because this must end and in fact has already, but I'm just informing the world. So what is the meaning of this? Well, the meaning of this is that I know everything. So obviously they were timing my biological birth because they had the telemetry that we when before when the events were happening we knew how everything was going to be mapped out because we knew all their intelligence we understood the whole plans we understood that they were going to have clones and they were going to do the mapping and they were going to do all that from east to west and get to us because they were timing my birth because i was going to be born again and changed everything for them and stop this nonsense so they knew that so that's why my face they created systems around my face because of that. So, because they were timing us, they understood it. So, right, so essentially, by having that, the fastest disk, essentially, they would use that as a chronology to time my birth. So, because I was in Antarctica, right, it was in Atlantis, they needed to time my biological birth when the moment they were gonna do the Antarctica situation so the whole civilization can be ready so they can control where I was born in the first place before the events took place, when the events took place. And before, obviously, because I was born before the moon showed up. So that's what I'm saying. So they needed to be, they knew my telemetry in terms of biology when I was gonna be born again. So they needed to align all the systems so the systems of control of Antarctica will be ready. So when I'm born, they're guarding it, right? So they might try to stop me so I, I don't get to it. So I get the moon out of here, which is what we're doing. And we've done it already. So it's just, I'm telling you. So the moon and getting this, the, all these systems all that but and that's why 
it's all about doing it before you know I turn 34 why and that's why the whole 33 and the whole thing about my face so because humans prime males at around the age of 34 meaning we become one with infinity but because the moon is there it's a lot harder and because our civilization was essentially suppressed with all these lies timelines right with all these nonsense so so then we don't know who we are we don't stare in the sun when we're born we don't we don't have access to our tech we don't understand that we're the center of everything so it's harder for us to prime into infinity which is infinite energy who we are as a species because we're the creators of everything we created them in the first place because we're the most ancient species so all what they're doing with all these celestial beings and these celestial objects around us this clockwork around us so they could time my birth and all that all that all that is reverse engineered with our tech because they're not human they're clones so they cannot interface with our tech because they don't have real human dna they don't love they don't have the ability to do that so because they don't they cannot do that they cannot interface with a real tech there and command and control our civilization on our spaceship planet so what they what they do is reverse engineer as much as they can and try to like because of who i am they you know try to guard it so you know and they just do what they do and uh, because what they want to avoid is humanity to because we're all human right all of us are humans there's just a very few of them and they're all clones the hybrids right they splice with the aliens where they come from so they're not real humans they splice they only look like us but that's all they are so essentially if you understand these if you understand these they don't want us to wake up because if we wake up which we already have then the system is over and then we can just deal with them and remove the moon and everything will go back to the natural order of the universe which is the way it is so with all this nonsense so so then understand this so the minoans understood this, this so they were there doing gathering and they understood everything so they were guarding it they were guarding these uh, because they were timing them because they were essentially at the right location to time all these alignments so so then when that happened right that that happens so you understand the timeline so they're moving they're moving they're moving because essentially the the, the fastest linear a uh disc uh, is the most important of all them because it's the one that leads in their chronology because they follow a chronology because of the alignments of the objects that they're chasing and they need to follow those timelines to make sure that they create everything that they need to create to uh account for my birth uh it explains that map if you look at it it's a spiral the disc is a spiral so it's a spiral well it's a, it's a the cycle this cycle the spiral of the movement of the celestials in this particular case the transition of venus why because the venus transition is the most important one because it leads if you follow the dates when it happens it leads the perfect alignment to everything that they've done in relation to building the civilization that they needed to build to wait for me to wait for me and you look at the dates and the alignments and all that is so they get to antarctica in the narratives and that in, if you follow that schedule if you follow the schedule of the transition of venus around the sun's disk if you follow that which is a very rare occurrence then you would time everything that they've done since they showed up when the moon came here every everything because venus is the reference that's why in their mythology they call venus earth sister right because earth is a real planet venus is just a proxy that is timing it because they were waiting for me so they list to antarctica and everything and all the civilizations that they've done as a result of that and everything that they've done so linear a that's why you know it's kept as a mystery but it's not because linear a is that is a timeline is there a timeline is there a timeline is there a timeline right is there a timeline so 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 then under and then it's perfect because it's in alignment with the moon right so it's all part of it a is a clockwork so so then that's that right that's that and they ancient greece right and i told you there's obviously ruins in ancient greece that predate the ice age and this is why this fella plato that came after the minoans 
he knew about Atlantis because obviously right so so it's very simple so this is what it is this is what it is this is what it is you know because they were timing me they were timing me they but I'm I'm just telling you this is all over we're getting rid of the moon. We're the Republic of Planet Earth. The moon is going to be out of orbit. We're going to scuttle the moon. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be a museum. And all these different celestial objects that they have around our orbit of our sun, the central sun, they're all going to be scuttled and moved away and used as uh, re relaunching our civilization, essentially. Like, we're going to use those as, like, okay, you see what happened? This is what happened to us and all this stuff. So essentially our DNA is incredible. Our DNA is incredible because we're the most incredible species. Why? Because of who we are. Because of who we are. Because of who we are. Precisely because of who we are. Precisely because of who we are because we're the most ancient species. Right? And all these other species that are not human that don't want us to know who we are because we're the center of everything. They they know that everything is over because of our density and energy. They can only interact with us as human proxies. That's why they have these clones. Because they cannot be here because of our energy density, because we're the highest energy that there is. So and love is the highest energy of creation. When we stare at the sun and we put love together and energy, then that's who we are. We're immortal. We're an immortal species. You know, we're tetragrammatons. We're the creators of everything. We created them. So by taking the moon out, then we're going to go back to our normal state, which is pure light and pure energy. And in control of our spaceship, have our defense grid up. And then the Republic of Planet Earth is all about manufacturing new planets, better planets than this one, more advanced, more sophisticated. And we're going to use a lot of our raw materials will be the scuttling of all these moons that we have around our orbit. That's what we're going to use as a foundation because we have the spherical technologies because it's encoded in our DNA that we can touch and use ourselves and interface with. If you're a human, which is the great majority of us, any human, it doesn't matter who you are. If you are a human, not a clone, if you're a pure human, if you come from our planet, from our DNA, which you are because we're the great majority, like we are like everyone really. So we can use our technology in Antarctica, all of us in Atlantis, all of us. And the Republic of Planet Earth, each and one of us has a spherical spaceship, all of us. It's in, it's, it's, in, it's, it's in alignment with you, with who you are, with your identity and true self and your energy of love. And with this, you can go anywhere in the cosmos, anywhere you like. You can stay here with us and rebuild the civilization. You can create new planets, which is what we're doing. And we're going to orbit the central suns of all the universes that we have already created as a central species. Okay. And all, or you can just go and help us scuttling all these moons, right? Scuttling these moons and using the raw materials as museums and things like that. And also just enjoying life for who we are as a species, because we're the most incredible species. And because of who we are, that's precisely why these things happen. They needed to happen for us to become more incredible than we are, because we've never been so many numbers. You know, we're A plus billion. And in the future, which is just really around the corner, it's just here and now, really, energy and love. We are an infinite number of beings because we already are, we're infinite, it's our nature. And we have an infinite number of planets already orbiting an infinite number of central suns in the infinite number of creations that we have created. So this is a species that we are. So what you have to do is to love with all the highest energy of your heart and stare at the sun, the highest energy from outside and the highest energy from within as one. Loving and creating. And you're gonna have access to everything who we are. This is the very beginning. This is the origin story. This is the genesis of who we are as a species because this was the first planet that was created. So that's why they targeted it because it was the first and they needed to stop that from happening everywhere else because it will give us a competitive advantage that they will never be able to surmount. So because of that, they tried to stop me. Why? Because when I was born, my first birth, when 
we when the planet used to look the way it is when we manufacture it i come from the family that built this planet like the my ancestors direct ancestors so they knew that i was key so when i was going to be born again they didn't want that because if i did then i would destroy the system so we could do and create all the planets that they didn't want us to create in the first place so but that's already done because they've been utterly defeated you see because if you think about it there's none of them here right you're having a normal life and everything is renormalizing already around you everywhere around the world there has been a renormalization and this renormalization is perfectly timed with their alignments so they are essentially observers of their own demise that's what they're doing and a lot of them they understand these and they have surrendered a lot of them most of them and they're collaborating with us as humans because i'm a messenger of humanity this is who we are okay and this is who we are we're the republic of planet earth okay we're infinite energy infinite love infinite creation this is who we are we're the republic of planet earth and remember this video is about linear a and what it means all right it, it, it what it means and all the timelines so understand the timelines and understand what it means okay and understand what it means and understand what it means because we're infinite love infinite energy infinite creation with a human heart this is the species that we are with the most ancient species as i said this is a memory i am a dna memory of our collective consciousness at this level of density but what that means is that because i am this i am everything that there is because that's who we all are as a species meaning that in the future, which is everything that there is, and the past, which is everything that there is, and the here and now, which is everything that there is, because we're the consciousness and self-awareness of everything that there is, we're the human race. This is who we are, right? Because of this, because of this, because of who we are, because of who we are as a species, and because of what we represent as a species, who we are, we are infinite, which means that we are an infinite number of beings, we're an infinite number of planets already. The Republic of Planet Earth is an infinite republic. It's a republic of consciousness and self-awareness of everything that exists in infinity. And I'm just a messenger because I am a human. And as I, as it has been said, I was going to come and tell the world what's happening as a messenger. And I am here telling you what's happening because I love you. I love everyone because we are the human race. We're a benevolent species with a human heart. This is who we are, the highest energy of creation. We live to love and we love to live. We're compass, we're sun, we stare at the sun. So your job as a human from now on is to open your heart, open your mind, open your eyes and stare at the sun. Open your eyes, stare at the sun, build, build the bridge, open the portal, evolve to infinity. Do it because the highest energy outside and the highest energy within which is love together as one unlock your dna memory so you understand who you are as a valuable citizen of the republic of planet earth as a human a member of the human species the central species the first species the most important species the most ancient species who we are the human race humanity i love you all with all my heart with all my mind i'm so right i love you all with all my heart with all my mind